Good morning, crafty friends. It's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel, and I am getting ready to go on another crafty road trip. I hope you'll stick around, see where I'm going to go, and see who I'm going to meet up with. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I had originally wanted to get started on the road by 8.45 and I did beat that by a few minutes. When I put the directions into the car, it said I would get to my destination right at 11, which gave me some time for traffic and pit stops. To start off the road trip today, I decided on Taylor Swift's Folklore album. Today's destination had me driving east and I actually drove into my home state where I lived for the first 20 years of my life. It was probably a good thing that I left a little bit of extra time. I did hit a couple spots of construction shortly outside the metro area that I live in, but luckily after that it was pretty free travel. Now one of the things I like the best about my trip back here is there is an area of the interstate where you see these windmills just as far as you can. And I don't know why, but they always make me kind of happy. Well, I have made my first pit stop, as you can see by the beautiful rest area scenery that I just shared. Um, I just put in my destination into Google Maps or whatever is on my phone, and it says I should get to this place about 11.06, which our appointment is at 11.45, but you never know about traffic. You know, you already saw that I hit a couple little spots. Sorry for the lack of footage of leaving the city today, but it was a lot busier than when I took my road trip to see Mary, so I didn't want to risk anything, either hurt myself or hurt someone else. So hopefully when we get to where we're going, you'll enjoy that even more than just pictures of me on the road because apparently my windshield washer fluid is made of water, as you can see by the bugs that are still on that windshield. But I'm going to get the car turned on so I can have some air and get back on the road, and I will see you in a little bit. Well, I have found my destination and it's about 16 minutes away from the appointment time. My partner in crime who is meeting me here is going to be here in about 14. So cross your fingers that they make it in time so they get to have a little bit of crafty fun with me. Now I know so far I have kept where we're going a surprise and who is meeting me, but I'm going to give you a little bit of a hint. Can you tell by that? So right now I am parked outside the little business office area that our destination is located in. It's kind of a storefront for a manufacturer. I did have to park a little bit further down than the door I'm going in because it looks busy down there. Let me know below if you have ever been here and know where I am. So I'm going to go ahead and walk in. I am hoping that I can get us both signed up. Um, again, they're not here yet. I'm crossing my fingers they make it because it's going to be so much fun, but it's about time where I can show you where I am going. I just want to make sure that I have the correct door. I think I need to go down a little bit further. All right, so my try my camera holder is flipping out. I was going to show you where I'm going, but now I'm kind of out of the way. Can you see it? No. Look who has met up with me at the Tailored Expression Studio in Ankeny, Iowa. It is my sister, 
aka crafty days and we're both wearing our oh so inspired t-shirts because just about every other saturday we get together for a special live here on my youtube channel now if you haven't checked that out yet i will link the playlist below but before we get to what we did at the studio let's see how lisa's trip went hi everybody just a Quick start to the video. We're heading to. Hey, I'm gonna meet. They said we need to bring our own scissors and our own adhesive. So here we go. Do I need big scissors? I don't know. Better take a pair of little scissors. Bring our own adhesive. What if I run out? So I better take two. That one looks pretty low. I better just take three of those. What do you guys think? All right, hair done, kind of, makeup done. Trying to uh, get to the car. Where do you think I'm going today? And who do you think I'm gonna meet? Well, you'll find out. All righty, hopping in the car. All right, just got in the car. Waiting on my driver. Got my Oso oh inspired shirt on. I'll be doing a little videotaping along the way, and then when I get to my destination, I'll see who we're meeting. Lisa's trip took her northwest today. She lives in a town that is about 30 minutes from where we grew up in Mount Pleasant, Iowa. If you have ever heard of Mount Pleasant, Iowa, or Midwest Old Threshers, let us know in that comment section below. Now what I enjoy most about Lisa's little video here is you get to see kind of pulling in to the business park there to get to Tailored Expressions. Now, luckily, being a few minutes late to that 11.45 appointment was okay. It was a lot more casual than I thought it was going to be. You just kind of had a time frame you could be there to do the make and take. Now, today's make and take involved some foiling on toner sheets that Tailored Expression sells. And then once we foiled that, then you use stencils to color in the flowers and leaves. Now you would have thought with how many things we had to be told to do or our kind of absent mindedness during this make and take that Lisa and I had never stamped or inked anything before. I'm not sure what was going on, but it took us a little bit to figure out exactly how to put this card together. But the fun thing was we actually got to see Taylor of Tailored Expressions in person. And it's kind of weird after all these years of seeing her on live videos or over the virtual events, so that was super cool. There were four other ladies there at the same time as us. Many of them come every week and do this, and they were all so friendly. Lisa actually found out that one of the ladies grew up in the town that she currently lives in, so that was a small world, kind of. And even though Lisa packed three tape runners and I packed my ATG and two refills, we still had to borrow some liquid glue from our table mates. We didn't even think to bring that, but they were also gracious and let us do that. We were almost at the end of our cards and had to chuckle because Lisa, one of her sentiments was hanging crooked and that was because she forgot to take the release paper off the back of her foam dots. But here are some close up looks at the cute cards we made and we even had some sentiments to bring home that were left over. After that was done, we looked around the store and let me tell you, I could have spent a thousand dollars there. There was so many products to look at and I have to tell you that just all over the place were inspirational samples using those sets. We made our purchases, which you will see at the end of this video. And before we left, of course, we had to ask Taylor for a picture and she graciously agreed. <laughs> 
Now we also asked Taylor a recommendation for a place to eat lunch. Lisa and I were both kind of looking to get some big yummy salads and she told us about Main Street Cafe and Bakery which let me tell you is just in the cutest little shopping area and apparently it's kind of a chain around the Des Moines Ankeny area so hey if you're ever there I hope you will check it out. So, our vlogging is horrible, we've decided. I mean, my head's cut off for God's sakes. <laughs> I can't get it any further away. <laughs> We enjoyed some good food and some good chatting and even a little bit of discussion of what we could do with the fun paper bags that the silverware came in. After lunch was over, we did go our own separate ways and I have to say that if I lived in the area, I would probably be going there every week as well. Today's trip was quick, but so much fun. I had a wonderful time with my sister and brother-in-law, and one thing I do have to look forward to now is Stamp Joy back in Des Moines in October. Let me know below if you're going to be attending. All right, just made my first pit stop on the way home. I had to get some gas, otherwise I probably wasn't going to make it. Um, sorry for my tripod kind of crapping out earlier. Hopefully with some of the pictures though and the little quick videos that I just took by hand, you'll enjoy that. And then when I get home, I will show you some pictures of what I got at the studio. Well, I am safely back home and thank you to my sister for joining me today. I had a blast and I cannot wait until Stamp Joy in October. If you enjoyed today's vlog, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up and until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Hey guys, it is Alicia and I just wanted to stop by with a look at the card we created as well as show you what I picked up from the studio. Now here's a look at the card and I know you got to look at it earlier in the video, but it is just so pretty. I love that foiling on here. Now some things that were left over from our little make and take kits is you have the reverse of the foil and the person who was in charge of the make and take showed us how um, I think it was Taylor herself put this onto some sticky paper and then that gold comes off on that and you get the negative effect. Not negative as in bad, but negative as in opposite. Also left over were lots of sentiments left. This was actually a sheet just like the foil part here where it was already pre-printed with toner and you could have foiled these two before you went in and um, cut them apart. But I just love how now I have so many sentiments left over. Let's go ahead and see what I got there. The first thing that I got was this little enamel or lapel pin. Both Lisa and I picked this one out. It's a little work mat with a card, some watercolors, and a brush. And this will go up on my pin board, which if you've seen some of my past videos, you will have gotten a look at. I like to collect these for just different occasions. Now the next two items go together and I just fell in love with the stamp set and normally I would not pay for the matching dies because I do have the brother scan and cut but the way the image stamps I would have to fill in a lot of areas with pencil and honestly I just thought it was so gorgeous. So that is the sketchbook florals, stamps, and corresponding dies. I saw some samples made with this and yeah I just fell in love and I had to have it. During Stamp Joy in the fall, they are going to have a card swap, so I might play along and use this set here. I did mention before how I enjoy the simple strip stamps and dies. Now, I only have one stamp set so far, so I picked up another one, and this is just full of thank you sentiments. Now, because of the amount I spent, which my sister had me put some of hers on my bill so I could get to that level, I did get this background stamp for free. It is a sealed with love, cling and clear combo. So you have a background stamp and then you get a little clear stamp set to fill in those envelopes. I've gotten a couple of these from past stamp joys and just absolutely love them. Now let's see what Lisa picked up. 
Just like with earlier in the video, this vlog we've kind of had to go with the flow for a few hiccups. Instead of a video of Lisa showing you what she bought, she did send me this picture. Now if you want to see the video, she does have a new one up on her YouTube channel, so I will have that linked in the description box below and at the end of this video. Once again, I think this vlog was kind of doomed, but don't worry, I will still give more a try in the future. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.